So if I buy an electric car, will it have the same technology as a Formula E car? It's very much the same technology. You have a battery pack, you have an electric motor, and then some very clever electronics to manage the high voltages between the battery and the motor. Obviously, a Formula E car has got a far higher uh, performance than your typical road car electric vehicle because it has a far larger battery pack and a very powerful motor. The aim of Formula E is to actually advance the electric vehicle technology. This year, the regulations are frozen and you have to run the same powertrain, the battery and the motor. In future years, teams will be able to develop their own electric uh, powertrains and that will actually start to advance the technology and that will filter back to road technology. So why is the BMW i8 the safety car and what makes it so good? Well, with the BMW i8, um, it's job is to be the safety car, which also means it's the pace car during safety car periods if there's been an accident. And it has actually surprisingly very similar performance to the Formula E racing cars in terms of its power and its acceleration. So it's able to keep pace of the cars during the lap. But what makes the i8 so interesting, it's a hybrid. So when its battery cannot continue to run when it needs to, um, it can then switch to uh, the petrol engine to support the battery. But what's really been very exciting in the introduction with Formula E is to have the Qualcomm Halo wireless charging system. So when the safety car is parked in the pits, it sits over a special pad and that wirelessly charges the batteries to recharge them in case there's another safety car period where the car needs to be called into action. So what is this wireless charging system? Well, the system they use is the Qualcomm Halo system and the BMW i8 sits over a special pad in the pit lane and it's able to charge the car's batteries, top them up in between uses of the safety car without having to have any cables attached to the car, so it's completely wireless. Obviously the safety car needs to be pulled away at any point very quickly, therefore having no cables is far safer for the car in the pit lane. So if I was to buy one of these cars, how would I charge it up? Well, with electric vehicles, typically you've got two different methods. You have um, a physical cable that you can plug in and that will charge the car from your mains network overnight. But equally, there are uh, technologies such as the, the Halo system, which are wireless. And potentially in the future, wires could be embedded beneath the road, which would wirelessly recharge your car's batteries as you're actually driving along, giving you obviously far greater range to your electric vehicle. So in a race, why do they change the whole car and not just the battery? Well, the biggest problem is the sheer size of the batteries. The batteries weigh 200 kilos, and the way the cars are constructed, it actually forms part of the car structure. If you unbolted the battery, the car would literally break into two pieces. However, the problem you really have is if they redesign the car to have a removable battery, as we say, it's a very large, very heavy piece of equipment. You've got the power cables, and then obviously with the safety uh, earthing and bonding, which allows the battery to remain safe within the car. To do that very quickly at this stage is beyond the technology that's available. Again, as we say, as the future years of Formula E develop, the teams will be able to develop their own chassis and battery technology, which should allow quick change batteries and the driver will stay remained in the car.